It's a great day for America, everybody. It's a great day for me. This is Glam's Castle in eastern Scotland. It's Show moving to Scotland. Only for a week. Yeah, not like forever. It's not like, so long, suckers, I'm out of here. I, I went for a week, shot, shot a week of shows, and came back. Uh, Let's talk about the logistics of that. It's not like you go, hey, everybody, gather around. We're going to Scotland. Wait, how much pre-planning does that take? Well, that's what I do. And then a lot of other people, uh, you know, do some work. And they go, like, he's lost his mind. And I go, that's right. I've lost my mind. And then they all work very hard and make it happen. We went over. We used the Scottish crew when we were over there. And uh, it was terrific. It was really f wow. good fun. Because I'd always thought that Scotland, when I grew up there, I thought, oh, it's dark and miserable and depressing. But it's not. It's just that when I lived there, I was dark and miserable and depressing. It was me uh, the whole time. Who knew? But therapy <laughs> and uh, a lot of wheatgrass shakes have, have set me right. <laughs> now my Californian attitude is as perky as anyone on daytime TV. <laughs> Talk about the places that you visited in Scotland. I know you went back to your old high school. I did, yeah, which has completely changed. I mean, you know, it used to be when I was there, you know, it was very rough and tumble. But when I left, the rough and tumble apparently left too. So maybe that was my fault as well. Um, the, it was very, uh, it was very progressive school, which I, I don't remember it being like that. And then we went to a, a bar where I got my ass kicked when I was about... Can you say that at this time of night? Sure. Oh, great. Well, I got my ass kicked uh, at this uh, bar. So we recreated the scene of me getting my ass kicked in this bar using child actors. Uh, we gave them moustaches to add credibility. But what happened was... When I got my, and we did it in exactly the same place, it was kind of freaky to me. Because see how my, my finger is broken yes. there? That's, That's how it got broken, that. yeah. And the weird thing is, I got my finger broken in that fight. My firstborn son, his finger is like that. I got this finger broken so hard that my firstborn kid had his finger broken. It altered him. your genetics. It altered my genetic structure. <laughs> Big birthday coming up for you. Oh, man, why did days. you even say that? Because you can't stop the yeah, clock, Craig. All right, all right, all right. yeah. 50. I'm gonna 35, be... finally oh, 35. Oh, man, really? 50 years old, I'm going to be 50 years old. Do you know what the thing that really bothers me? is like the, the AARP, like they put in their magazine, they put me on the back of their magazine. They said, do you want to be in our magazine? I said, no, I don't. So they put me in anyway, and they were nice about me and stuff. And I'm like, hey, I'm not retiring. And there's and there like, yeah, you're 50 now. So now they're like, why not us? Why not us? And they pull you in. And now I'm, I'm pulled into the world of the AARP. So I'm going to wear my pants high and use a lot of cortisone. Looking back, did you expect to be what you're doing right now at 50? <sighs> Wow, I don't know if I even thought that far ahead, really. I, I, I'm I, still not sure. I mean, I'm 50 next week. I'm still kind of like, eh, it's not going to happen. It's, somebody will show up. They, it, we, I'll get a reprieve somehow. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think what I what I thought was I, I, I just wanted to get that pilot to go in the air. And I, and I, I tend to think it in life as a short chunks. I try and keep it in short amounts of time. Because if you start thinking about, oh, what I want to be doing when I'm 50 or 70, uh, I, I go crazy. I, I mean, I think, think about it sometimes. About, yeah, like, what am, what am I going to be doing on Friday? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Or, like, what's for lunch? Right. That's kind of my thing. Even better. Yeah, because when people say, you know, like, how do you prepare for my show? I'm like, I put on a suit. <laughs> that's, I'm telling you, that's what I do. I put on a suit, and there you go. And we'll see how it goes.